All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative and take it one day at a time. Most definitely. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son who died for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his truth is everlasting and his mercy endures forever. Amen. So always keep him first. Always worship. Worship him, always praise him, thank him, trust in him through everything you got going on in your life. Amen. Most definitely welcome everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and support. It means a lot to me. I love you all, praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, awesome, amazing things. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. All the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to all the previous martyrs, current martyrs, and future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are going through many tribulations for his namesake. Stay strong and encouraged. We are with you. Much love to all the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship, the services. Much love to all the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted and Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all peoples, all walks of life, most definitely. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you as well. Anyone who just became a new creature in Christ has a brand new life, God bless bless you as well. Much love to all of you with your testimonies and your stories. It's always amazing to hear them. And if you did not repent and get baptized, go repent and get baptized ASAP immediately. Amen. Shalom, family. Greetings to all of you. Welcome, everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord, all the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound. Crowd to him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument. Do what you got to do for the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy. And always Always worship a spirit of truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our life till his son comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let us be sober alert vigilant watchful prayed up let us be washed by the water by the word the washing of the water through the word let us keep our lamps and our oils let us stay in our purpose and call for the most high god let us know the lord better let's get more close to him let's seek his face draw near to god and he will draw near to you let us obey the gospel let us obey the law statute commandments let's obey all of god's word anything the most High has told us personally according to our life our calling our purpose our situation our gifts our talents handle it people Keep it all together for the most high. Keep the faith. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the law, statute, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges. Keep all of it together. Write a copy of the Torah from Genesis all the way to Deuteronomy. Write a copy of all those things that keep it near and dear to you. Amen. And keep doing a great commission. Keep spreading the gospel. Keep being lights of the world, salts of the earth, ambassadors for Christ, vessels, all those things for the kingdom. Amen. Always remember that you have worth and kingdom. You, you have worth in the kingdom, okay? So don't walk around with your head down and hopeless and sad and going through the motions. Keep your head up because let the Lord use you and let him bless you, amen? And you keep him first, all right? 
All right, so let's take it one day at a time, people. Just stay strong, hang in there, okay? Now, today's message, what I would love to do is go through today's Bible reading, go through the recommended reading scriptures, and go through the commentary. And then from there, I will close out with a prayer. I will close out with the priestly blessing. And I will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Today's Bible reading, the book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. Recommended reading, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, in its whole entirety. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verses 46 through 51. The book of Ezra, chapter 9, in its whole entirety. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 1, in its whole entirety. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, in its whole entirety. And also the book of Daniel, chapter 9, in its whole entirety. The title of this commentary is Renewal Through Repentance. Not many of us use the word repentance except in a Bible study or a church related setting. Or maybe that word reminds you of people wearing sandwich boards with the message, the world is ending, repent now. Dwelling on sin in an age when people want to hear uplifting and positive messages seems so judgmental and hypocritical. We want encouragement, not reminders of what we've done wrong. So what can we learn from Zachariah's call to God's people to repent? He urges the people to learn from the mistakes of their ancestors, their forefathers, who refused to listen to prophetic voices from the past that called for repentance. Eventually, seeing clearly in hindsight, the people admitted that the Almighty has done to us what our acts deserve. What does repentance mean? It involves turning away from sinful acts and turning towards God. Repentance means, repentance means confessing to God the selfish and harmful things we've done to others, as well as our rebellion and disinterest in God. Repentance also affirms that God is just. In his just state, he must punish our sin and demand our repentance. While we might not talk about repentance in everyday conversation, we also find the call to repent in the message of the New Testament. The Bible contains a consistent message. Repentance provides the first step to establishing a strong relationship with God and repairing our relationship with others. Finally, despite its unfamiliarity, repentance is an ongoing process. We sin daily and God wants us to repent daily. When we admit our sinfulness and acknowledge our helpfulness, our helplessness and utter reliance upon God, he promises to always meet our repentance with his forgiveness. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. What can you learn from the mistakes of others who refuse to repent in the past? Do you practice repentance daily? Why or why not? How does God respond to you when you repent? In what ways can you demonstrate God's forgiveness to those around you? In other words, quote unquote, a sinner can no more repent and believe without the Spirit's aid than he can create a world. Quote Charles Spurgeon. Amen. So that's the commentary. All right. Repent, 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 people. Okay. Let's help others repent as well. Let's have more accountability, more discipline, more better self-control and do better from here on out. Amen. So that is the commentary for today. What I love to do is I close out, give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He's the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job and Daniel. Praise the Lord. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Most definitely, he's the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Hallelujah. Praise the most high, the almighty, true living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, 
am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King Eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world. Lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness. The Lord is my banner, my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high time, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my song, my safety, my defense, my redeemer, my salvation, my provider, our helper. Praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ha, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshai, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, can heal all things, cure all things. He is the carpenter, can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great, mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart. You will find him. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust in what he could do for you. Abide in him and abide in his word. Ask the Father what you need in his son's name. And it shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders, help, comfort, good news, good unexpected blessings, help, a push. Let Just ask him, people. Ask the Father what you need most definitely we are in agreement with the father son holy spirit god is one we know for sure that the outstretched armor of god will be in our lives forever the mighty hand of god will be in our lives forever the finger of god will be on our lives forever our faith has made us well our faith has saved us our faith has blessed us our faith is how we overcome the world we walk by faith and not by sight we're justified by faith the just shall live by faith amen everything's by faith on this side most definitely he got us y'all he is the lord of all the lord of glory the lord of lords the man from heaven the man of sorrows the mediator of the new covenant the mediator the messenger of the covenant the messiah the mighty god the mighty one the morning star the Nazareth the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrected of life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word made flesh, the living word, most definitely. We know that his word is purified silver, just as David said in the Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double S, what the book of Hebrews says. Amen. We touch and agree. Prayers up for all the poor people. Prayers up for all the widows. Prayers up for all the orphans, the fatherless. Prayers up for the tribe of Levi. Prayers up for the strangers, the sojourners, the refugees. Prayers up for all pilgrims, all peoples, all walks of life. The babies, the children, the young boys, the young girls, the middle-aged people, adults, the elders, senior citizens, single people, married people, divorced people. Widowed people, prayers are for everybody, all walks of life. Don't leave nobody out of prayers. Amen. We know that the Messiah is the high priest of the order of Melchizedek. We know that he's the everlasting king. He is a sinless high priest. He is the way everlasting forever. Amen. Most definitely. Let's repent and get baptized. Let us forgive others so that the Heavenly Father can forgive us. Let us write a copy of the Torah. Write everything from Genesis all the way through Deuteronomy. Let us be blameless before the Lord our God. And let us constantly keep serving him forever. Lead more people to him through his son. Amen. Most definitely. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah Barakathah of Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace. Yeah.